Hello! This video will give tips on how to create this surfer on shore scene inspired by Heather Brown. Vary as you wish. You're going to want to start with your paper in the upright position or portrait. You're going to want to start with a pencil and eraser so you can adjust. But I'm going to use a pen so you can see what I'm going to do. First we start with our main character. Our main character is going to go somewhere on the page around here. I'm drawing a cat, but you can draw whatever you like. I'm giving him his forehead and ears, his big cheek, his other cheek, a little bit of a neck, and then I'm going to give him a big belly down to his leg. See that curve? The belly down to his leg, his foot, the inside of his leg, his other foot, and then I'm going to start from his neck and go all the way down to his foot for his back. I'll make it a little curved and down for his leg. Once you have your character, you can decide if he's going to be carrying a surfboard or a surfboard's going to be on his side. I'm going to have mine carrying a surfboard. So I draw a big oval -y shape on either side. There it is. This is going to be the shore. If you want a big shore, a big sandy area, you'd start your shoreline up here. I'm going to have a little one and have it start down here. It's up to you. You can have it straight or you can have it angled. I'm going to have mine angled to make it a little interesting. Now along the shore are some splashes or waves. I'm going to make arcs or semicircles to show those splashes. Now the top of the wave, the crest, runs along above it. So we're adding another line for the crest of the wave. But to show that water falling over and crashing, we're going to want some curved lines to show that movement. Curve, curve, curve. I'm going to add a little curve here. And even back to these ones on the other side of him. Now I'm going to skip to the horizon where the land meets the sky or the sea meets the sky here. Remember the horizon should be level across your page. That's where the sea meets the sky. Now you could leave it like this and just have this water or have some lines in here for water. I'm going to add an extra wave if you want to try that. So this is going to be where the wave is kind of crashing or forming. And I'm going to have just, it's just starting to crash. So here's the first giant splash, here's a little splash, and it's just starting to form. So a little one there. Now again, it needs a crest. In this case, the wave is just starting, so it's very short here and it's very tall here. So I'm going to start with the taller and go down to be shorter. And again we want the water to fall over so we're going to have a curved line to show that water falling. Now on the other side of the wave the water is going up so we're going to have it curve up curve up, curve up, because it's starting to go up, up, up. And inside that little tunnel, the water is going up, ready to splash over. So if you have space there, you can add one to go up there as well. Now for the rest of the water. You can leave it as it is, or if you want to add some water lines, you can add more going across the page. 
if you have space. Now, the beach. You can leave the beach plain. Oh, actually, before the beach, let's do the waves, finish off the waves. The splashes on the waves can be little circles or semicircles. So you can make a circle or a semicircle. And fill these in however you wish to show some more splashes. And up here, too. Now the sand. You can now decorate the sand with some patches or whatever you want and add any other details like some clouds or, or birds. Color and have fun.